My name is Slavka. I'm from Alabama, and this channel is about living, traveling, and learning. See you on the road. Well, hello again, my friends. Uh, for those of you watching it uh, right away when I post this, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, if you're watching after, well, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year anyways. Well, you're less than a week from Christmas right now. I'm trying to get home. So anyways, we're currently at the Fontana, California. That's outside Los Angeles. And uh, just uh, sitting here at the shipper, um, getting loaded for Hattiesburg, Mississippi. This is a uh, take me home load. Uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi is like 100 some 20 miles away from my house. So uh, I'm gonna take this load Turn and go. Turn right onto Elm Avenue. Yes, yes, Mandy. Um, taking this load, uh, head to Mississippi and going home for Christmas holidays and all that, so. Uh, the load's paying $7,800 on 1,900 miles. Uh, very good rate. Um, we'll see how the weight wise, uh, they promised somewhere around 38,000 pounds, which wouldn't be bad. Some, it's a good, sweet spot. You know, it's not super heavy, but it's also not, you're not going to be blown around in the wind. And, um, you know, the weather's been kind of iffy recently with the high winds everywhere in the United States, especially the western portion. Lots of trucks being toppled uh, this week. So we got 19 pallets of uh, protein shake. So that should be uh, should be around 30,000 pounds. And fairly good load. All right, guys. It's a really, really windy out there. Kind of glad I got the weight. That sound is a uh, wind <laughs> rocking the aluminum sheeting. All right. Rolling through Imperial Valley, California once more. I think this is like eighth or ninth time this year. It's a good way to close off the year. This uh, final trip in 2021. So I'm going to be looking into January. Coming out of here again? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm thinking uh, in January I'm going to try to run more regional, like around the southeast area. Um, We'll see how it turns out. I, I'm not sure if uh, the revenue is going to be there, but generally uh, in the winter months, going up north is a dicey proposition. Some loads pay, some don't, but the uh, chances of getting caught in a snowstorm getting delayed are almost 50% uh, every week. And, uh, and when that happens, it's just uh, you, you lose a day or two, and it means rescheduled loads. You're just not not getting enough revenue that way um, and plus it's dangerous I mean uh, meanwhile southeast generally you roll around there the, 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 the freight does not pay as much but there are no interruptions so you just kind of bounce from one to another and you basically make same or sometimes more with less risk uh, dealing with the snowstorms and all that crap so We'll see. I'm gonna, you know, I've been running OTR for like uh, four or five weeks out, two weeks home. I may do something different. I may be like out for uh, 10 days, home for four days and so on. Just vary it a little bit. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it works out in the new year. I hope, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue um, vlogging and everything and uh, we'll bounce around Florida and uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Louisiana probably Tennessee it's like basically maybe it's a chunk of Texas so that's the plan guys for the next year well I wasn't I haven't been filming the last day or so uh, going through Arizona and uh, part of Texas I uh, decided to take a detour out of Midland Texas the I-20 is getting really gnarly with holiday traffic people doing dumb shit like outright dangerous and I just want to remind everybody that's watching, guys, I know a lot of people are traveling right now, holidays and all, but holy fuck, don't kill yourselves or your relatives. I mean, how many minivans I've seen packed to the gills with those turtle shells, uh, cargo haulers, and, and pulling some kind of trailer and, and, and just doing dumb shit like 90 miles per hour, going around trucks, cutting people off. I know we all have get their itis. You want to go on a holiday, visit your family, whatever, but... I mean, is that worth it? Being killed or maimed or somebody else getting hurt? 
Are you losing property, all that. There are so many accidents right now. And for no particular reason, everybody's just fighting each other to get through the roads. That's part of the reason I pulled off the I-20 and um, I'm taking the back roads in Texas. It's a lot calmer here. Most of the interstate traffic, uh, mostly drivers, they're traveling for holidays right now, and it's just insane. Um, it's my little ace in the pocket, so to speak. Uh, I do this a few times a year. Uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, usually like uh, 4th of July, uh, before and after, you know, during these holidays when you have high volumes of traffic. But uh, this year, uh, Christmas travel, we're still uh, about six days away from Christmas, and it is crazy. I, I'm telling you, the amount of people out in the road right now doing cross-country trips, it, uh, I haven't seen anything like this in five years I've been trucking. Uh, you know, you get your you get your uh, grandpas and grandmas and whatever, what's not uh, going out and, and, and driving, but this time you see people hauling from California across, you know, into the East Coast, you, you know, all kinds of vehicles and, and doing very high speeds, way above speed limit. So clearly city drivers, they're not accustomed to uh, long term, long haul trips like that. They just uh, get antsy. Uh, all, the, all the fuel stuffs are packed with people. The bathrooms have lines in them to go pee, you know, or take a dump. I mean, it's, it's pretty intense right now. So yeah, I'm going to rest of this trip. I'm just going to take back roads. Luckily, there's once you get into central Texas, uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, you can avoid all the cities and crazy people. So that's what we're going to do, guys. And uh, I'll see you down the road. Come well, on, boys and girls. We got a flat tire this morning from the trailer. You hear that sound? It's not chewing up, it's just falling off the rim. Huh. Fuck. Must have had a slow leak. And uh, air got out of this morning. I pulled around to get fuel. I must have pulled it off the rim then. I have auto inflate. So that probably what kept it inflated all this time. But uh, not this morning. Oh my gosh. Well, at least it's not a catastrophic blowout. But unfortunately, this place does not have a shop here, so I'm gonna have to call a um, call one of them tire places and have them come out and bring it because I can't drive like this. It's me. Uh, that's overloading the other tire and. Uh, before this, it could cause a lot more damage than uh, driving in like that, and it's dangerous. So, you have to wait to replace it. I didn't hear anything at all. I, I just this morning I was doing pre trip and I'm like, what the hell? The tire is loose. Okay. They normally explode on me, and I never had one just loose up the rim. These were fairly new. I had them replaced this the spring.
the big cannon. <laughs> That boy means business. <laughs>